in this video we will discuss introduction to algorithm an algorithm is a finite set of instructions for performing a particular task the instructions are nothing but the statements in a simple english language there are few characteristics of algorithms like finiteness definiteness and effectiveness each algorithm is supplied with zero or more inputs each algorithm must produce at least one output each algorithm should have finiteness finiteness means if we trace out the instruction of an algorithm then for all cases the algorithm will terminate after finite number of steps another characteristics of this algorithm is definiteness each instruction must be clear and unambiguous and last one the last characteristics of algorithm is effectiveness that is every instruction must be sufficiently basic that it can in principle be carried out by person using only pencil and paper moreover each instruction of an algorithm must be feasible these are the characteristics of algorithm now let us consider algorithm design tools algorithms can be designed by using pseudo code or flowchart here there is an example of algorithm for finding greatest common divider where gcd finite gcd in this case there are two inputs so here these inputs are named as first number second number and output is greatest common divider now here <laughs> let us consider one example here so this is the algorithm where step 1 read two positive integers and store them in a x and y let us consider there are two integers so first integer is 15 another integer is 6 now in this case we will read 15 as a x and 6 as a y then divide x by y so 15 divided by 6 here the remainder is so here remainder is 3 and quotient is 2 if r is 0 go to step 7 r is 0 means if remainder is 7 then directly print the y output and stop but else if r is not 0 then step 4 is assign y to x assign r to y and go to step 2 so repeat the same process so this is the algorithm for finding greatest common divider now here let us consider this example where value x and y are 15 and 9 here so first step is as i said find out uh, assign first number as a x another number as a y then step 2 what is the step 2 step 2 in this case it is divide x by y and keep r as a remainder and question b y so here x is equal to 15 y is equal to 9 15 divided by 9 is 6 and sorry remainder is 6 and quotient is 1 so step 3 is step 3 is we'll check whether r is 0 or not so here step 3 is if r is 0 go to step 7 else go to step 4 which is assign y to x step 5 is assign r to y and go to step 2 6 is go to step 2 now here three number answer is non remainder is 6 which is not equal to 0 so therefore go to step 4 step 4 is assign y to x so here x is nothing but 9 and step 5 is assign y r to y so step 5 is 6 so here x is 9 y is 6 and here sixth step is again go to step 2 so therefore x is 9 y is 6 and go to step 2 in step 3 again divide x by y so 9 divided by 6 is equal to answer is 1 and remainder is 3 correct again here we will go to step 3 and we will check whether r is 0 or non zero if it is 0 go to step 7 else go to step 3 now here in step 3 again 9 6 3 1 so these are the x y r and q respectively so here step 4 is assign y to x assign r to y 
and here go to step 5. So step 5 again here 6, 3, 3, 1. Now here six, uh, step 6 is go to step 2. So in step 2 again values are 6, 2, 6, 3 and here 6 is divided by 3. So answer is 0. Remainder is 0 and quotient is 2. Now here remainder is 0. So therefore we will compare R with 0. If it is 0 then go to step 7 where which is occurred in step 3. And here it is observed that in 7 we will print content of y where y is nothing but the 3 and here the greatest common divider of 15 and 9 is 3 so in this way we can analyze the algorithm okay thank you